Ah! <laughs> Ay. Ay. So before we get into this video, the setup video, I'd like to give a shout out to my boy, Zach. Zach hit me up in the DMs and was like, hey, uh, can you shout out my clothing brand? And I was like, I don't know why you'd want me to shout out your clothing brand because man has like 86 subscribers. So I was like, why would you want me to shout out your clothing brand? But anyways, uh, he asked me to shout out. So I'm going to shout it out. going to pop up his Insta. And I'm also going to pop up the cloud and brand as well. It looks good. It actually genuinely looks good. The logo doesn't look like, you know, trash. So <laughs> I think you should check it out. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully he sends me a shirt. Bro, you better send me a shirt, bro. Like, you better send me a shirt, man. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, go check out Zach's brand. And also, shout out Noah as well. Big Berry Noah. Big Daddy Noah. Little midget. He asked me to shout him out <laughs> in my last video. So shout out Noah. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get into this video. Still, so you walk into my room and you got the mirror, it's a mad mirror, it's the newest addition to my room, probably. Actually, and then I have a light switch there, out like a light, hey, yeah. like a light, hey, yeah. like a light, hey, slept through the flight, hey, go in there. So you have this beast of a PC. Oh, damn, it's so good. Damn, brother. So you have 100 thieves on the main monitor. Shell and Nate shot doing big things. It's off way on 100 thieves. Like, then you have this LG monitor. My mate Calvin gave it to me. Shout out Cal. The same guy that made the lame video as well. I don't like you. You are lame, 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 lame. All your people do the same, 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 same. Yeah, boy, get off on my lane, lane, lame, lame, lame. Yeah, there you go. Balogun's, you get me? That's the gang. And then this chair is also really good as well. <laughs> and then you come along here and mad. I added to the intro of this video first, so <laughs> yeah. You've got this really cheap ass keyboard. It was like a 10 euro. Calvin gave me a lend to buy this and the mouse mat, the first mouse mat I had. This isn't the first mouse mat I had. This one is my newest one. It's fucking huge. It's HyperX, it's fucking fat. Three nine and nine. Uh, so he gave me a, 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 a lend to get this and my first mouse pad, and then I bought the mouse myself. It was on the same day. So I had money for the mouse, but not money for the keyboard and that. So, yeah. So shout out, Cal. I paid him back though, like the next day. So it's so cool having this setup. It's the, the mouse pad is so good, and it's very convenient. And then got my PlayStation here as well. Wait till you see the. F <laughs> oh, no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Quite dusty. <laughs> I still use it. And then I have this. This is the power line network adapter. And then you turn over here, and this is me bed boy. It's my new bed. Uh, I have a video of me actually, like when I first got this bed. Uh, I recorded myself uh, lying on it for the first time, and it's so soft. So I'm gonna pop that. Up. I just got a new bed. Here it is. Has a headboard now. It's a mad thing. So. I want to record my first experience like lying on the bed, so give a sec. It's so soft. Oh my god. Ooh. This is a daddy bed. Woo. Got the headboard as well. Ah, bang. Can you see that? And then my wall, this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've been curious about what the fuck all this is. <laughs> so I'm going to break it down and explain every single thing that's on this wall. Because it's quite mad. It's quite the crazy wall, but I can't imagine my room without it. So I don't even know what the fuck to start. <laughs> We're going to start from here, actually. The AirPods, yeah. I bought uh, Apple AirPods and uh, that's the box for it. <laughs> so I just blue tacked it on my wall. And then this is my iPhone 4S. <laughs> I think the first iPhone my dad gave me, I think the second maybe, gave me like a 3GS and then he gave me an iPhone 4, he surprised me with one. And then uh, there, that's the uh, receipt for when I signed up for my football team. I had to pay 400. Paid 400 and I still don't start. Ah, I do be like that sometimes. <clears throat> <laughs> that's such an L, man. And then, uh, yeah, crazy... I don't know what the fuck this is, to be honest. All these stickers, uh, they came with like the welcome pack with my PC. So I just put them on the wall. 
stickers. I don't know what the fuck this is. I know that sticker there to be like that. And then a one euro coin. It stuck a one euro coin to me while I was like, fuck it, why not? And then that's a sticker from the headphones that I recently bought. Another sticker. That's from my mouse mad though. There's my Gashka award. Uh, to be honest, I probably don't deserve it. <laughs> Because, like, uh, I didn't come in, quite a few community volunteers, but because, like, uh, I gave my journal to her, she signed all the stuff that I missed out. So I wasn't there, but she signed as if I was there. So I got, I got the Gashka Award, even though I don't deserve it. So <laughs> still flexing, still flexing, boy. Still flexing. Look at that shit, boy. And then we have these comics from Fortier. Like, um, some fella came in, Kev F. He also did a portrait of me as well. It's there. Uh, I'll move closer to it in a bit. But uh, yeah, this was Fortier. Uh, like he made us do all comics and he put them all together as one. And uh, it's quite cool. There's also a few others as well that I'll show you. But this is uh, the exercises and the stretches that I had to do when I fractured my ankle. Because uh, some old fella fucked me up. <laughs> He's not even that old. But. Right, yeah. I swear to God, it was actually this fella, Johnny Ward from Love Hey. It's a crazy story. Like, it was one of his Monday night football things. And me and my mate Cal got put into it, and Eric as well. And we played in the Astro, the Green Hills Astros. And it was just a bunch of men. And then they just tackled me. They fucked me up. I swear to God, it's actually this fella. Because people are like, oh, he's from Love Hey. No, I love him. He's from Love Hey. It's not going to be him. But I'm not even messing. It actually was this fella. <laughs> It was actually quite funny as well. He, he tackled me crazily. And uh, yeah, my ankle fucked up. So it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. Yeah. Uh, this is the ticket to Young Ben. Young Ben is the first ever concert I went to. Young Ben! Young Ben! My fucking God! So, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I just hung it up on my wall because I got that's crazy. I also have another ticket there as well. I can't tell which one's mine. Like, oh, uh, shit. I can't tell which one's mine. I can't tell whether it's this one that's mine or this one that's mine. One of them are mine anyway. So. Your boy Tanner Tom is a motivational man. I have so many quotes all over my room. There's a lot of quotes. And it's this one says, yeah, you can read it, but I'm still going to read it anyways. Always forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them so much. Oscar Wilde. I don't even know who Oscar is. I just saw that quote. I was cool. I wrote it down. Stuck it on my wall. And there's this one as well by Bernard Baruch. Don't know how the fuck you pronounce that name. Be who you are and say what you feel because those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. That's flames. That's flames right there, Chief. That's flames. That's facts. And then you have this one here. Uh... To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest achievement. That's true. A lot of people don't be themselves because they're too afraid of being slagged and being called a berry. I get called a berry on a daily basis, so, you know, it's not bad. And then, <laughs> this is also uh, one of the things that Kev F done. Yeah, he drew this. So, like, uh, I think one of mine pieces is there, actually. Like, he put this on the board. He drew, them, he drew the main fella on the board and then... He said that we could draw all our little stuff on it, so. See that? Your mum. That's all me. That That's all me. And then this is all him. This. I've got to draw my croissant. I'm going to have to pull up the vine now. Ah! Stop! I could have dropped my croissant! <laughs> Pretty sure you've seen it though, but yeah. This is also new to the setup too. Uh, it's the Red Dead Redemption poster. So uh, I got Red Dead Redemption from Kex, it's like a second hand store, but just the thing is I had money to buy it brand new, but just my dad was in a rush, so we just got it from a second hand place. Because like he was like, Tell me we have to go home. So I was like, oh fuck's sakes, because uh it they sold out in GameStop, so uh we had to go over to Kex. So uh yeah, it do be like that sometimes. The case is kinda of fucked, but yeah. Mm, Red Dead map. Great game. Control freaks, oh control freaks, oh I've had some history with these bad boys, I tell you that. Oof. They're for your controller, so I'll actually show you them actually. So, uh, this is a control freak. This is a Black Ops 4 control freak. It's a bit dusty, but <laughs> yeah, that's a Black Ops 4 control freak. It makes your thumbstick slightly higher and it gives you better accuracy. I fuck with control freaks. Whenever I'm playing on controller, playing shooting games, I'm always using control freaks. It makes my aim a lot better. My aim would be so much worse if it wasn't for control freaks. So, shout out control freaks. 
big lads themselves. Guys, I am super excited to let you guys know that I am working with Control Freaks to make my own custom Ali A Control Freak. It's blue, it's rocking the Ali A logo, it's my favourite size, it is perfect for me. You can grab them right now, hopefully you guys absolutely love them as much as I do, they are epic. Thank you Control Freaks, thank you guys, grab them now, the Ali A Control Freaks are here. Sponsor me, fam. To do things, you have to believe in it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, yeah, he's a mad lad. Speaking facts. There's little tender Tom, you get me? Little tender. Back when I was cute and I was light skinned, now I'm just a black shit. They'll be like that sometimes. Uh, I gotta focus it. Oh, there you go, focused, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, had to cut the video short because some fella knocked on my door while he rang the bell saying, do you want your windows washed? And I was like, nah, I just don't want my windows washed, man. So he just cut me off. Always believe and have faith in myself. No matter what anyone says, ignore haters and keep believing. It's so cringe. It's very cringe. It's very cliche, but it's true. I had a lot of confidence problems as a kid. Well, I still am. I still am a kid. I'm 16, but like when I was a younger kid, I had a lot of confidence problems. So I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to become confident. And now... I like to say I'm quite confident, and the people around me, I'm sure I can also say that. Hey, that guy Tommy's, you know, confident, you get me? I've just so many confidence videos I've watched. I've just looked up how to be confident on the YouTube search bar, and the amount of videos I've watched is insane. So many, and they helped a lot. So that's how I'm able to even record this video, even though it's going to be quite embarrassing and cringy later on. Fuck it, why not? Uh, yeah, always be myself. <laughs> Everybody knows how weird I am. I'm a very, very weird kid, but like, that's just me, innit? And then, uh, oh yeah, always remember it's okay to mess up. I've taken a lot of L's. Even trying to record this, I've probably messed up multiple times. And this isn't really the most professional way to make a video, but like, fuck it. I'll get better, you know. This first time I've ever done this, so, you know, just. Yeah, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna take L's, but just gotta keep going, you know? Motivational Tom, that's what I am. And then, yeah, it's never too late to live the life you've dreamed of. It's never too late. That's why I'm chasing a dream, chasing that YouTube dream. And then the key to success is self-belief. Yeah, you gotta believe in yourself, yeah. I try to be optimistic. I know a lot of people that, like, they're honest thinkers. Like, they're really honest, but just they're also very pessimistic as well. So they don't really believe. I try to stay optimistic. I have big dreams, big goals. And honestly, I believe that they're possible to achieve. Obviously, they take work and effort, but... It's possible to achieve them. It is 100% possible. You just gotta work for it. And I believe that if you just stay positive and keep believing and keep working, things will happen. So, yeah, I do believe in the law of attraction. I had something there for the law of attraction, but I think it's in my draw now because it fell off because it will be like that sometimes. But I'm a big fan of the law of attraction. Love that shit. I dreamt this so much, so clearly, so pre precisely, and so frequently that it has manifested itself into reality. And that's what we, uh, that's what I am feeling right now. It's, it's a dream come true. How do you do that? How I do you mean, connect these if things? you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. So I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. A lot of times people believe in certain things, but they keep to themselves. They don't put it out there. If you truly believe in it, if you become vocal with it, you are creating that law of attraction and it will <clears throat> become reality. Uh, this keeps on squirting, keeps on making noise. I'm actually gonna squirt it. Go on, squirt baby. There you go, big squirt there you are. Uh, this is a Shamrock Rovers ticket. I think it's the first one I went to. No, it was, I think it was Cork City, was it? Fuck. I have two other Rovers tickets over here. One of them is my first that I ever went to. That was the first football match I ever went to. Oh. Yeah, big up man like Kev F. He's done a lot of these. Uh, yeah, he did. He drew all these and he drew them quite quickly as well. Uh, these are just people from my Fortune class. So, yeah, big up Kev F. Good artist, these. And uh, there's his signature. And then there's the portrait of the me. It's me, Mario! It is quite accurate, if I do say so myself. And then we have here. Se você não pensar que na sua profissão você é melhor, se ele não pensar que na sua profissão é o melhor cameraman, se ele não pensar que é o melhor representante da Nike, não temos ambição. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, I do believe in this a lot. You really do have to believe in your mind that you're good. Everyone has, yeah, I'm trying to be motivational, it's just, oh, I can't. Yeah, you have to believe 
that you have some sort of worth and uh, you're, you're worth something because everyone's worth something but you just gotta believe in yourself you know what I mean and Cristiano Ronaldo is a big person who believes in himself and uh, you can see how far he went with hard work and uh, self-belief so Cristiano Ronaldo inspires me so and then also uh, can't even read that the most important thing is to enjoy life to be happy it's all that matters yes Aubrey that's facts it's big facts uh, Slatan, yeah. If somebody else can do it, you can do it too. So if someone can hit one million subs, like for example, Shotgun Place just hit one million subs. Congratulations. I literally left the room for five seconds and we gained like a hundred subs. I'm not even kidding. I went to drink water, but thank you so much, okay? I was literally here when it was at like 999 and I was like 10 subs away. And we were gaining like one sub every like 10 seconds. So I was like, okay, I have five seconds to drink water. Never mind. But thank you so much, a million subscribers. That honestly feels really weird to look at. It's not like I don't. I never felt like someone like me could reach that number, considering how different slash unique my content is. In the sense of you don't really see someone doing it in the exact same style. I guess the commentary, or whatever. So I didn't want to be boring like everyone else and follow the same exact overhyped pattern, or whatever. And so I never actually knew if I would ultimately succeed. But it was what I wanted to do. I wanted to be myself and like try something new even if like because even if like 4,000 people are gonna watch me right I felt like those 4,000 people would be truly entertained by the content and it wouldn't be generic like everyone else but we literally impacted the scene and completely changed it so huge thank you I truly do appreciate it <laughs> okay I got my camera because a huge spider on my okay it looks small in the thing but trust me it's really big <laughs> but I want to say thank you for a million that's really weird I didn't know like why anyone let me hit this number okay it's been like four months since I started this channel it's not the best choice I've ever made in my life I'm gonna stop moving it like it's musically. It's not the best choice I've ever made in my life. We're like, what? Look at this thing. <laughs> I kind of left a huge impact on the scene in literally four months of be doing this. So that's cool to think about. I really walk around just thinking about it. Yeah, we really just did this now. Oh, bro, look at this. I hope I can inspire some of you and show you that you don't need to follow like the general formula to like blow up on YouTube. That like, you can be yourself. You can be completely random and different. And even like if other people think it's stupid. There'll be like people who don't think it's stupid. Click on every Fortnite YouTuber's channels, they all sound the same, bro. <laughs> this part about all of this is like how close of a following we've built in literally four months. We literally have like one of the best communities in Fortnite, it's nuts. So thank you, I hope I inspired you. I'm not home, obviously. I use a shotgun plays catchphrase a lot. It do be like that sometimes. That's his. I didn't come up with that. He uses that a lot. So I used it a lot as well. <laughs> he just hit one million subscribers, so who knows? If shotgun can do it. I might be able to do it one day. It seems very unrealistic right now, but I'm gonna believe in myself and see where we go. This is also just, yeah, believe in yourself, uh, always be honest. I try to be honest, but there's just some times when, like, you get caught in a lie or like when you don't wanna do something to someone, but you, when, you, when you don't wanna do so, something with someone, so you have to tell them that you can't because if, because like you don't wanna hurt their feelings. I'm confident my YouTube channel can blow up. I hope so, because I have 86 subscribers now. Uh, yeah, so. We're just hoping for the best. We'll see what's good. Next up, we got this. I drew this myself. Kev F gave me like the tools and shit to do it, whatever. It's just a comic called Your Mum. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, got your boy Clarence. He has a t shirt saying Your Mum. It says, Big up your mum. Your mother is a great mother. Love your mum. Hey, ma'am. My hairline looks trash in real life, and it also looks trash in animation. We thank Kev F for making my hairline look just as good, <laughs> just as bad as it looks like in real life. Big up my man's. And also, uh, this is a cut out of a newspaper and uh, my lollipop lady gave this to me actually. <laughs> like whenever I'm waiting for the, whenever I'm going to school and I'm waiting for the, uh, waiting to cross the road, lollipop lady always talking to her and then build up a bit of build up. <laughs> a bit of a friendship, you know, me and the lollipop lady are friends, you get me? So uh, she gave me uh, the, she gave me this and like a thing in a poly pocket, and she was like, "Hey, you're in this, Tommy. You're in this. This is you." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, that is me." And I was like, "Oh, there's you there." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I've got to focus that. My hands are getting tired. Not gonna lie, that's me as well. Yeah, it's all about me. Great. Yeah, <laughs> we raised uh, eight hundred uh, with non-uniform day at school." They go, Casey, yes, bro, you get me. And up here, I have a bunch of holy stuff. 
Uh, some of these go way back. Like these, like they like this is from primary school. This is from my communion actually, my confirmation actually. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Shout out Louise from uh, Nakamura Senior School. She she did that for me. Do you look at my Jesus? Look at my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then these are from the seminar in the RDS. We went there for four years. It was like the best trip in four years. Oh shit! <laughs> fuck! Yeah. Fuck! It's yeah. Yeah. Ah. Hold on, gang shit! Ah. Hold on, gang shit! Ah. And uh, brought back a few bands. And then this is my brother's brand, the Branded Royale. This is the Tommy gun that I made in Fortune as well when I did woodwork. I have to pull it down now. Fucking hell. It's a bit dusty. get <laughs> it. I'm a big Lil Pump fan as well. Dread I'm so sad. I was so sad that I didn't get to see him at Angatude, but do be like that sometimes. You just take L's in it. So you just take L's. I I used to wear these snapbacks, you know. That's when everyone used to wear snapbacks. Remember snapbacks? Everybody used to wear those old base snapbacks. Yeah, I got a Barcelona snapback, and I got like a... This is a, a a baseball team, I think. I'm so ignorant, I don't know. I only got it because I, I had a B. And like, B is for my second name, so... Yeah, I don't know what <laughs> football team that is. Kowalski, analysis. Baseball team? I don't know what <laughs> football team that is. You're an idiot. I feel like such an idiot. And this was from Fortier as well. Just a little fucking thing. It says, uh, what does it say on that, actually? There you go. Working together. Well, who cares? Fucking bitch. Yeah, what, I forgot what you call these again. The bracelets, the holy bracelets. I can't remember. But yeah, I still have them. Doesn't have any of the pictures on it anymore because I think I put it in the wash when I was younger. But, but yeah. And then we also have my old school tie. This was the junior tie, but now man's a senior because I'm a big boy. So I have a, yeah. This is the old toy, and then this is a thing, Believe in Science. That was for science. I got that for science week when I was in UCD. So, uh, yeah, Believe in Science, boy. These are my old Harachis, and these Harachis have a story. Crazy. Oh, God. These Harachis were the first, like, actual good shoes that I got. Because, like, I used to just get my brother's, like, hand-me-down shoes, and they were just trash. And then, like, I used to, my mom got me Converse. Converse. And they were so squeaky, like every time I'd walk, it just make a squeaky noise. So like they were just trash and they just weren't comfortable. And then these were the first really comfortable shoes and really fresh shoes that my mom got me. And then I wore these into McWilliam and then everybody was like, Oh Tommy, fresh shoes, bro, where'd you get them? Oh Tommy, those are fresh shoes. Oh, where'd you get them? And so yeah, <laughs> those were my first good shoes. So I only put them up there like two days ago, three days ago, because like there I found them in my found them in the storage room, yeah. And I asked my mom. And my mom was like, Hey, uh we were supposed to send them to Nigeria, but we just didn't. I forgot, so I was like, oh, okay, cool, let's put them in my room, so. Memories, love Harachis, oh, they're great. My hand's getting tired, you know, fuck, man. I'll switch into my left hand, because my right hand's tired, you know. It's a football, I not like football. <sighs> it has a fat thing in it, it has a fat, it has a fat tumor in it. And I have a Burger King hat as well, that was also from Fortier. And then this is also like the book version of the uh, I could have dropped my croissant. I don't want to open the book up. It's an effort to put it back there. This was also made in Fortune. A lot of, the, a lot of stuff in my room are from Fortune. Show him Woodwork Teacher. I don't know what the fuck his name is, but, you know, show. And, uh, yeah, these are the shoe boxes. Oh, uh, my Christmas shoes are there. They're fucking Under Armour. Uh, yeah, I'm not a size 13. I'm a size 12, but that's just like... I'm a size 12 in UK. It says... Fuck, I have to show. That's not much of a difference anyways, but it says, yeah, UK 12. Yeah, I'm a UK 12 in shoes, yeah. Of big ass feet, of big fat feet, you got me. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, this was from, uh, yeah, UCD, the Matt Sparks. Matt Sparks was so good, by the way. Matt Sparks was really fun. Great. They're great! Like a catfish out of water. <laughs> really, really good. The people there were sound. You know, it was mad. It was kind of mad, you know. There's a girl there, thought she was kind of paying, you know. 
started texting her for a bit, asked her to come out, she rejected me, you know? It do be like that sometimes, you know? Take a lot of L's, I take a lot of L's, it do be like that. Free game success checklist, this was from like Progressive Soccer, Dylan Toby. I guarantee, like if you play football, you, you, you've heard of this fella, Dylan Toby. <laughs> If you look up football on YouTube, or look up anything on how to do this, how to do that, I guarantee you've heard of progressive soccer. This guy, he knows everything, and uh, yeah, I put that up there. Like, uh, I never really checked it. I never checked the pre success checklist, but it's great. I always believe in myself. That's like the main one, and there's also a few there as well. Psh, I never checked it really, so yeah, I guess it was just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, here is the law of attraction thing I was talking about. I had there was one back there on my wall, but it fell. So this is uh, yeah, more, another example of law of attraction. Yeah. I mean, if you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. So you are creating that law of attraction, and it will <clears throat> become reality. So let's create that law of attraction now. Tender Tom, if he keeps uploading, is gonna get one million subscribers. I don't know when, but let's just do the law of attraction, and then like maybe seventeen-year-old me, eighteen-year-old me can look back at this video and be like, whoa. Tender Tom has 1 million subscribers. Wow, that actually happened. That's crazy. So, law of attraction is real. So, <laughs> let me try and prove it. Even if I don't get 1 million subscribers, I'm still going to believe it's real anyways. Because, like, I fuck with the law of attraction so heavy. Do you have anything else to show you? Yeah, this funny squirter. Things always squirting. Yeah. Nice. Good news Bible. Uh, like a priest or whatever came into uh, our class or whatever. We had to go over to the prayer room and... Uh, he gave us this book and he gave me the little prayer book. You get me? The, the My little prayer book. Because who doesn't have a little prayer book with them at all times? You are on a sesh and if uh, people are smoking fat joints, you know, you can just have your little prayer book out. You know, just pull that shit out of your pocket and then just start praying to God. You get me? Just be like, Lord God, uh, don't take me away. Uh, these people are smoking, but I am a holy child. <laughs> oh, we got a little book of Irish little book of irish uh yeah i got that from ucd as well when i won the little basket thing do be like that sometimes this is like the actual thing of the gashka award so this is what the gashka certificate came with uh yeah it's just a little badge and shit uh, a little, little smaller badge a little smaller pin yeah it's quite cool uh yeah uh yeah got the tommy hill figure you get me because like man doesn't want to smell on that yeah smell is a big importance you get me a big importance Wow, it says my name on it. That's crazy. It's not like anybody else has the name Tommy. That's crazy. <laughs> we're going to do a pack, a pack open, boys. 50k pack. We can open it up properly. 50k pack open. Wow, it says my name on it. Tommy. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I'll try to put it back in now with one hand. I don't think I can put it back in with one hand, but I'll try. Bang, bang. There you go. Bang, there you go. There you go. There you go. See, did it with one hand. Yeah, crazy. Got that tissue, you know what I mean? And got that Nivea lotion. Me and this lotion have history. Get your lotion, baby. Lotion. Oh, get your lotion. Lotion, lotion. No commotion. No commotion. No commotion. I made a song <laughs> about this lotion. No commotion. Go get your lotion. Get your, get your lotion. Get your, right now. I love my lotion. God bless the lotion. Nivea lotion is the best lotion. If you're not using Nivea lotion, what you using? And I got sure, man. Cause like, yeah. Not trying to have swe sweaty armpits, you get me? Don't want that shit. Also, I have links. This links is actually full. That's crazy. Black! Black! What? It's not like I'm black. That's crazy. This is crazy. Jeez. That's crazy. Yeah, I got them cutting buds, you get me? I used them a lot when I got my ears pierced because I had to fucking put the cleaner shit on it and then rub it in my ears and shit. And then bang! Seconda watch. There's a story about the Seconda watch. I always wanted a Seconda watch. Remember, your parents would go to Argos, they'd bring back the Argos book, and then, like, I saw my man going through, like, the Argos thing or whatever, catalog or whatever the fuck, and then I saw, like, the Seconda watches. I was like, damn, those watches look kind of flames. So I was like, oh, I only get a Seconda watch one day, so now I have a Seconda watch. <laughs> I only fuck with metals. I only fuck with the metal thing, metal straps. This is, yeah, I don't fuck with leather. It's only metal. We're only metal here. You get me? I have a terrible beat tensor. Fuck, dude. Bag, dude. Damn, Peggy. Yeah, we've got a Turtle Beach headset, and uh, let me just smack the microphone there for a sec. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the microphone, and I use this to make my music. Yeah, I should get a better microphone. 
yeah but this is how i've made all my songs except for i ain't because i use the apple headphones for them i ain't got no hoes i ain't got montclair but i got my nike sliders and i'm chilling here which was even worse quality so i need better microphones for music i use garage band as well so i'm just sticking into my phone but my games here oh my god damn peggy show my games collection bro I have most of my games downloaded onto the PS4 because this are getting kind of mad, getting kind of old. But we got GTA, Red Dead Redemption. This was for Christmas, but like, you know, I already talked about it in the previous video, you know. Just just had to give it a try. And it's a great. The story mode is really good and the online's fun too. I'm just waiting for the rest of my mates to get it as well. Got UFC 3, it's great. I'm so happy that it in Andre Bishop and... Uh, that in Andre Bishop and Isaac Frost. And uh, that was a really good update, so... And then World War II. Ah, this isn't even a mine. This is my brother's. I tried to mine in. And then, yeah, this isn't even the Elder Scrolls Online. This is my mate Ryan's disc. Guess what's in it? Yeah, <laughs> not the Elder Scrolls. This is a Black Ops and then Black Ops 2 as well. Because uh, if you gave me a lend of his PS3, because I really liked PS3s, I wanted, to, I wanted to get a PS3 for myself. Thank God I didn't, because I wouldn't have played it. I just wanted to play skating again and shit, and it was cool, but don't care about it anymore this is probably the worst quality of video i've ever made to be honest it's just trash i don't know how i'm gonna bury myself through all this footage but. it's 7 41 in the morning and we're still editing so you're bearing through the footage mate oh yeah this fucking fucking fuck fuck this was also made in fourth year uh it was made in religion just has a bunch of stuff about me has the loose change logo from phase banks his clothing thing if you use any you know that <laughs> uh yeah confident unique funny i think it says somewhere i'm black there if i can find that yeah i'm black there you go i the folks that in for a year i honestly think i might have adhd but i don't know which is a do be like that sometimes uh, transition year fourth year yeah look at that isn't that cool it's not even in focus because this camera is shit oh, i'm so exhausted fucking hell yeah this is a mouse spongy it's a cougar bunker mouse spongy it's a suction cup so this shit isn't moving it's literally shaking the whole table because it won't move it's a really good mouse bungee i recommend it if you're in the market for a mouse bungee yeah the logitech mouse it's a logitech g502 prodigy rock wrong that is this is basically my locker i lost my locker key for school so i just bought my books here there's even more books here do be like that uh, got the under armor jacket everyone seems to fucking have this under armor jacket i don't know why it's just like everyone has it and then jack and jones i like this jacket a lot because when i wear my watch like uh you, my watch always stands out because the things are cuffed because the things are cuffed so my watch always stands out so i like that a lot <laughs> and then we've also got this regatta thing which my mate pretty much bought for me my mate ryan shout out ryan shout out ryan film for that no, shout out ryan for that. Uh, let me get a this pizza with a two liter of coke this is a yeah a sneaker freak oh yeah it actually is quite fresh i've this is like two years old or something but it's fresh and uh Kilinardi community school that that's my school oh i don't know what i'm baiting on my school yeah uh this is yeah it says ty class of 2018 your boy class of 2018 graduate you get me and then we got the adidas jacket here uh got this from jd online it's like 60 something it's cool just a bunch of jeans you know i got my african trope i got my african top you know uh, you know i stay tribal i stay tribal you get me i'm a tribal man and then we got uh the suit you know on some justin timberlake suit and tie shit you know what i mean my brother gave this to me and it's, it's, it's cool it's nike you know what i mean it's all right you know, it's kind of dusty <laughs> But still wear it sometimes. And then the final thing in the clues it is fucking uh this Jack and John's jacket that's really warm and comfortable. So thanks brother for giving me that. Legend. Uh we do have shoes. Don't wanna show my shoes. I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> I'm gonna outro this video. Go check out Zach's brand. Shout out Noah and uh yeah. Shotgun nostril. Butterfly dose. Ooh. Space, space, cool blood like a UFO. Whoa. Smoking on dope. Damn. They call me on me, cause my eye real low. Low. Pulling up foes. Whoa. Baby mama whip a pot on the stove. Whip it.